Today we're going to be looking at what it takes to actually find the position of something inside our code. And to do that, we have to actually look at our code, look at our structure for our list or our array. We're going to start off our list version right here. Um, in our list version right here, again, we're inside our list, um, CTEC list file. We have our templated class of type and for our template header. We have our method header because it's an int. We have an int first. Then we have our class type. Again, then scope resolution indicate that we belong to the class. And then we have our index of method. And it takes a type search value because we're looking for that thing. Now, in our list version, what we did is we were um, going to use the idea of a for loop to actually go through that, but using a for loop with pointers to manipulate that. But we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at this. Again, we start off with a regular cert. We want to make sure that we have actually a list to look through. If it's not in there, we're not even going to try looking. It's going to crash and burn anyway, so we'll get past that. We're going to start off our index and go to zero, because that's where we start looking at as our first spot. And we declare a pointer of type array node, and we call it search pointer, because that's what we're going to be looking for. And we're going to use a for loop. And so what we're using with this is we're having our search pointer is equal to head. We assign it to start off at our head. We want to make sure our search pointer is not equal to null. Again, since we've already asserted that our size is greater than zero, we won't have that fail at this first point. And then we're going to search pointer to update it. We'll say search pointer equals search pointer get next. And we're using just the selector operator right here, so we can call that method on that and have that happen. And it's all a little bit past the line, but that's okay because it still fits. And if the search value is equal to search pointer get value, so if we're at that actual spot that we're, we're, we are looking for, we're going to go ahead and just return our index at that point. Otherwise, We'll go ahead and have our index plus plus. We'll move our index up a line. And we'll keep repeating through that loop over and over again until we have that happen. If we make it all the way through the loop and not having found that, we'll reset our index to negative 1 to indicate that we are no longer inside our list. And finally, return the index because we, we've not found it and we want to return that value of negative 1. It's not there for us to actually find. And so that's the idea of using an index of so we can actually find it with a list using a for loop and using instead of having a plus plus or something like that for our actual incrementation, we increment by using the search pointer get next. And so it's the same approach of actually iterating over our data structure, but we're using instead of an I++ type approach, we call just the get next method on our pointer so it goes through the entire list. We also have the same thing that we were looking at that for CTEC array. And we look at our CTEC array version, we use the CTEC array version. We did that, we had the idea of using a regular style loop on that. So again, we have our template class int CTEC array of type. But again, the scope resolution indicating this method belongs to the object. And we'll still have that same assert structure. We still start off at negative 1 for this one. And on this one, we're going to say array node type current. It's a pointer. We're going to set it to head. And we'll start index at 0. Index is less than size, index plus plus. Again, we're going to loop over that same approach. And we're going to go through if current get value is equal to search value. Again, that same exact test and the same exact line. We're going to return index. If that's not the case, then we're going to set current equals to current get next. We're going to reassign our get to our. Um, <clears throat> we're going to say reassign our current to our next pointer on that, which moves us through the list. Because again, the only way to iterate through our data structure is to call that get next, because we have to actually move to that next position. If we continue going through it and we never find the actual value, we'll simply return index not found because we've already assigned it to be negative one. Write that. And so this method and this other method using the list are the same exact method. They operate the exact same way functionally. This one is using a for loop to iterate over the list because it calls that get next each time on that. Within the array, we do it, We still count up by one. We do the count up by one as part of the actual loop itself, and we automatically then call just get next on that different value. So it's the same exact process using it with either an array or an array list, <coughs> excuse me, an array or a list that we're using of our CTEC type, our generics that we're using in C++. The same exact method to find that index of, one just uses a pointer as the actual iteration value inside the for loop, the other iterates over the numeral size of our list, both of them return negative one if it's not found, and that same exact structure happens. So that's the basic way of using the index of method on a generic type list or array inside C++. Thanks again and have a great day.